Hey guys, it's Brandon Creative, of Happily Dressed, a fashion blog dedicated to self-acceptance, self-confidence, and self-sufficiency, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am doing something that I have not done in literal months, and that is make a pair of pants. I'm very excited because, well, I'm wearing a pair of pants that I've made previously, a while ago, and it just reminded me how fun it is to make pants for myself. So. Today I thought I'd do another like denim vibe since you guys love my patchwork denim video that's out there. Also, this is funny, my roommate found, oh my roommate, my studio mate found this sign that says horny toads on there. And so that's what you see in that corner. Anyway, today I decided to make some denim trousers again. I might even make a denim jacket to go with it because I have so much of this denim fabric. So I basically thrifted it. They're supposed to be denim drapes, but I'm gonna use them to make um, a pair of denim trousers and then hopefully a jacket as well. So one side of the denim is actually like this ombre. So I think that's gonna be one side of the leg for me. And then the other side of the denim is normal. So I think it'd be cool to have like one side like that and one side normal. If you guys watch Seemingly Sarah, she does a really cool video where she does a little bleached line that go like squiggle that goes down the pant. I might try to do that on the normal side too, but that also might be too extra. So we'll just see how it goes. But let me just get my pant pattern out. So I'm basically using one of my really old pant patterns. It has definitely seen better days. I just don't want to make a new one just yet. So I'm gonna cut out a front, one side, and then flip this over, and then cut out the opposite back. So that way I don't end up with two pieces that are this, but I have one piece that is the back of this, and then another piece that's the front, which is just the basic denim. Oh, and if you want, I actually have a video that you can use to draft out your own pattern. I'll put it up up here somewhere. And you guys can check it out if you want to. So when it's put together, it should look something like this. Oh, I'm excited, this is gonna be fun. All right guys, so I'm ending the night. Wow, I sound tired. <laughs> Maybe I am. All right guys, so I am ending the night with my two backs cut out, my two fronts, my pocket facings, my pockets, which are a whole nother piece. And it's funny because the pocket and the pocket facing are basically the same thing. You just cut out the shape of the pocket from your pant on the facing so you can flip it inside out and so it can connect to the pocket. And then I have my little um, zipper fly addition guy who connects to my zipper. So that's where I'm gonna end it tonight. Hopefully I'll be in tomorrow um, to sew some things up. It's just been so long since I've sewed. I'm like moving at a snail's pace. So it's the next day and what I'm doing now is putting in all my darts and I'm also gonna serge all the edges that I need for the pocket and the pocket facing and the top of the pants so everything is neat. And this is what everything looks like after it's surged and my darts are put in the front and the back. And now I'm just sewing the pockets closed. This is the back with the darts and everything surge put together. And then this is my front finish with the pockets all done as well, which is really cool. And now I'm gonna teach you how to do a zipper. Hello everyone, it's a new day. Um, it is day three and I am determined to get this thing done. So I finished the front, the two fronts yesterday, got the pockets installed. And normally I wouldn't put the pockets on before I do the zipper, but I wanted to do the zipper for you guys just to see how I put a zipper on there. I had to do a like zipper front because it took me forever to learn how to. And then once I figured out how sort of simple it was, I was like, okay, cool. I want to show people how to do this. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I'll show you guys how I put the zipper on. Um, and then we're going to close this bad boy and see if he fits. And then the waistband. So basically this trick works with any pant pattern. So all you need to do is have some kind of zipper fly, placket. That's what I call this guy. You can go out, this I think is an inch and a half. You can even go out to two inches, whatever suits your fancy. But what you'll want to do is make sure it goes down into the curve, like right here. So let me actually measure how much this is. So for me personally, I like my zipper front or button placket, because you can do buttons on this as well. Um, but I like it to be about two inches up from the crotch seam, maybe even two and a half actually. So once I know that, I can make a bucket um, zipper fly placket this length and then come out the width of one and a half to two inches and that's how you get this guy and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark that two and a half inch 
space. And this works even if you don't, like if your pant pattern doesn't come with one or you made your pant pattern yourself and you don't have one. So basically we're gonna mark up that two and a half mark. And it's okay if you don't get it precise because what you can just do is bring this guy down and kind of just mark where he stops within your seam allowance. So I have a half an inch seam allowance. So I will be marking in that seam allowance and sewing down that half an inch. And then this will also be sewn down. And then you'll, we'll only sew from this dot down in our seam allowance, so half an inch for me. And we wanna backstitch here, backstitch here. And that leaves this open. Once that's done, it should look something like this. So now we're gonna open our pants up. And you'll even see like it naturally starts to kind of like fold close. So now we're gonna take our zipper five piece turn it right sides facing with this side and we're going to sew at a half an inch on the inside until we get right to that point. So now I have it in there with my piece at the half seam allowance and now we're just gonna sew up at that half an inch seam allowance but don't forget to back stitch after your first stitch. So yeah, once we press it down and get it crisp, we're gonna do a little top stitch here. So now what you'll do is take your zipper, face it down onto the placket, and this is an extra long zipper, so that way I don't have to deal with the zipper head. And you want it to move out at least half, a quarter of an inch on this side. And we're gonna stitch down on this side. So once that's done, you wanna go ahead and turn in your fabric like so. And it should cover the zipper when it's closed because you um, had that little half an inch space that you put in. So that way when you fold it over, it'll cover the zipper when it's closed. But what we're gonna do now is take our other side and you can also go do this with the iron, but you're gonna press in the half an inch seam allowance. And then once that's pressed, we're going to pin it to the other side of the zipper. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna go do that and then come back. So once you finish that and you zip your zipper up, it should look something like this, which is exactly what we want. So now to keep everything in place, we're just gonna sew a straight stitch down and around till we get to this point here, our apex point, to make our little zipper fly. And when you're pinning in place, you wanna make sure that you're also catching this little placket piece as well, so that way that stays down um, once the stitch is in place. So yeah, I feel like the more you practice this, the better you'll get because yeah, this is not even perfect. I went a little wobbly here. I should have drew my own line out. Um, but the more you practice, the more, like the easier it'll get. And like, thank God these are just for me. So I really don't care. But yeah, so just practice enough. And like, honestly, it'd probably just be best if you drew out your line first. And now I'm putting the front and the backs together, right sides facing and sewing down the side seams and the crotch seam. I feel like it's only when I'm doing voiceovers that my nose gets so congested. Oh my God, I'm not even saying, <laughs> I'm not even saying anything. Sorry, so this is what they look like. Um, I'm actually kind of excited with the way they're looking. So the back was originally supposed to um, also be this color, but I cut it out wrong. But I'm excited though, because I think what I'm gonna do, because I was talking about that Seemingly Sarah video, I think I'm gonna do that on this side. I might have like a little bleach swirl that goes around the whole leg. And so that way, it'll kind of just see like it was natural. But this seems a little too baggy for me. So I'm gonna take the side in like another half inch on both sides and then see how that looks. You guys wanna see my underwear? <laughs> so now working on the waistband, I like to fold my fabric in half so I have um, less issues with cutting out such a long straight line. I did it about 32 inches long and then also two and a half inches wide. And I went ahead and ironed down a quarter of an inch on both sides and attached that to the waistband and sewed that down.
cool. So the waistband is done. I think I might put like a clip. At first I wanted a button, but the waistband is kind of too skinny for a button. I really didn't intend on that, but that's okay because I can just hand sew on a clasp. Um, and then I just rolled them at the bottom with like kind of where I want them to be cropped. So I'm going to cut that out now. Um, serge it, flip that over and hem that real quick. And then we'll be done with the pants. You guys, I forgot I had this cute little YSL button that I thrifted with my brother a while ago. It's like little YSL button, Be Saint Laurent, um, that I can put on here. And it's like the perfect size. I just gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the buttonhole. And just like that, they're all done. Oh, they look so good with the boots too. I like where I cropped them at. I feel like that is literally perfect. And my cute little button. All right, just a little update. I went to Publix because I was hungry and got some sushi. But I also picked up some bleach and hopefully this thing will help me do what I need to do. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my sushi, watch some YouTube, and then finish these pants. And hopefully be able to start on some kind of like, I'm thinking like a, half zip hoodie, just throw it on. Or like half zip shirt hoodie, throw it on, call it a day. But we'll see if I do that. So that tool I bought for bleaching actually worked pretty well. It was really cool. I wanna do that more with some other things that I own, but I just rinsed it off too with water afterwards and just let it sit to dry. But it turned out to be really good. So I did the front with a pattern and I went to the back and traced that same pattern and connected the two. So that's what you see now. And while I was drying, I went ahead and started on my half zip hoodie. I used the hoodie that I had on for reference to kind of trace out one for myself. And I used that front to create a back. And now we're in full voiceover mode because at this point I was ready to get it done. So I just kept recording, but I used the front to create a back. I cut a line down the middle of the front halfway down to do my little half zip. And then also pinned this cool little square to hide where the zipper started. After that, I went ahead and put the back to the front, right sides facing, and sewed that down at the shoulder seam. And this is what it looked like. I was very shocked at this point with what was going on. So then at this point as well, I went ahead and measured the neck hole for the collar, drew that out and then cut it out. And then went ahead and pinned it to the neckline. And once I sewed down the outside of the collar, I went ahead and flipped it inside, folded in that seam allowance and top stitch on the other side to sew and secure that collar down. All right, so I have the collar on. Is it the best collar in the world? Definitely not. <laughs> um, but you know, it's been my, it's my first time back in a while. So I'm kind of happy with what I've done so far. So I think now what I'm gonna do, so I put the pants on just to see where I want to chop this. So it hits right at the waistband. But now I'm gonna just close the sides and see what those look like. Hem those, because I think I want this to be sleeveless anyway. I just wanted it to be boxy. And then I'll crop this and maybe even leave it distressed. We'll see uh, how I'm feeling, but let's get to it. So the sides are sewn, the armhole is hemmed up. Hemmed up? The armhole is hemmed up. So this is what we're rocking with. And actually, this is exactly what I pictured in my head. Um, it might have had a sleeve, but I kind of like like the vibe of no sleeve Especially because I have my hoodie on under it too So if I had like a gray hoodie like tucked in that'd be kind of cool But now I'm just gonna do one last thing and I like the distress actually so I'm gonna keep it that way But I'm just gonna move it up just a little bit I've learned my lesson from cropping my stuff too high like up here, but I still wanted to like Barely graze here. So I'm gonna mark that with a pen slice it and then I'm all done and finally, I'm adding the finishing touches to the top by doing the same bleach method I did for the pants. Alrighty guys, and we are basically all done. So this guy's gonna fray right here in the wash. I might do this one more time. It's still drying, but I'm just scared it won't be as light as this one. And like this one's super light. But it is also still drying, so I should just wait and because I definitely just F it up. And then I know you guys saw the back as well, which I think looks really cool. But yeah, this is the full look. I'm actually super happy with how this turned out. Um, it's been such a long time since I've sewn anything, so it's nice to uh, be back and have a successful little sew day. 
And then once I'm finished cleaning, I'm on my way home. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. It means the world. Also, hello to all the new subscribers. It's really nice to see this channel continue to grow. And you can follow me on Instagram at happily dressed. And I will see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.